Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, we're looking at about 4 o'clock, 28.4 degrees, 45% relative humidity. My batteries are in charge mode. See the yellow light there. The old energizer in the back here. Anyway, welcome to August, Saturday, 83.1. I don't know how to how to describe this video other than uh, Harvey is screwed. My um, lower garage has always been kind of cold and damp, and this last winter particularly, I noticed it was just from a heating point of well, not that I heated it, but it was just frigid down there. I mean, it seemed to be colder than it was outside, and there didn't seem to be anything I could do about it. Sorry for the wind. And now, I guess I've discovered the reason why. We're talking my wall. It is a broken. When you look through that hole, in the block and you see greenery there ain't greenery growing in the wall it's on the other side of it I mean this whole mess has to come down I mean just just to give you an idea this is a relatively straight edge I mean look at the space then as I come up in more space, and you guys could see it's all. This thing is a train wreck, literally. And we're talking, we're talking a mess. Yeah, there ain't no patch in this. I, I mean, you know. If you, if you got some stuff going on like this, right, you could kind of patch it up. But when, uh, you know, when you got and this, this is a train wreck. Looks like the bottom course more or less stayed put. And then it pushed in uh, other than that. I mean, it's pushed in. I mean, you can see where the snowblower is, the way it's pushed in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you guys could kind of see the way the there's even a little bit of a bow here. Basically where the um, where the weight on it is not from that steel beam, where that steel beam is kind of holding it down, it's good, but the rest of this, I mean, back up a little bit more so you can get a full, full gander of it. So we're more or less looking at, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks times, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, I don't know, 70, 80 block have to come down. All that dirt has to get dug off from that corner. It's all got to get cleaned up and it's got to get reassembled. Oh man, this is going to be a pain in the butt. The way the beams run, I don't know, could, could you guys see the nails on the ceiling? See the way they run, so the beams actually run 
like this. So when the door is gone, I'm going to have to put a lentil up, basically lift this corner. There isn't crazy weight on this uh, on this corner. I'm backed upside down, of course. I mean, it's not trivial, but it's it's not it's not crazy weight. Last time I did work like this, guys, was like 40 years ago, back when I was 17. There was a place in Orange County known as uh, Mountain Lodge, Mountain Lodge Park, um, across the river from me, not Orange County, California. Anyway, and people up there. They were big on like, you know, scraping a square on the dirt and then, you know, maybe, maybe putting down a little bit of cement in the square. Um, not, you know, really getting rid of the trees and stumps and everything out from underneath. And they'd put up two or three courses a block and maybe they'd be, you know, two foot worth of crawl space, three foot, four foot worth of crawl space, depending on their ambition level. And then they build a house. Well, that would be all well and good until, you know, a couple of thaw cycles went through, you know, freeze and thaw cycles. And uh, next thing you know, the house would be basically threatening to fall down. So we would get called in and we jacked the house up. Most of them were bungalows. We'd use steel cribbing and jack them up and then go underneath them with an excavator and dig the dirt out, get down below the frost line, put in footings and then build block, put the block up and then eventually, you know, lower the house onto, onto the footings, onto the block, the new foundation we put up. But once again, that was like 40 years ago. I was doing that kind of work. Not uh, I haven't done it in a long time. Yeah, even uh, even jacking here is not trivial. I mean, what I got to do is I actually have to knock that block out and extend the lentil further than than that block jack it up to get the weight off put the wall up eventually get the lentil out of there and fit that last block into place oh yeah this is going to be it's going to be a pain right right in the tail end guys If I had to estimate getting this work done, I'd say probably a contractor would come in here and whether he used um, help from south of the border to dig it out or he rented a machine, um, probably the first two days, it'd probably be two days to get to the point of demolition, to get to the point where you're ready to put the blocks back up, and then it'd probably be a cup, I mean those blocks are pretty tall, I don't know if you'd want to put them all up a couple of days, so I'm probably looking at a week wor a week's worth of worth, five days, six days and I'd probably be looking at a thousand bucks a day 
So if I had a guess, if I brought a contractor in, then he'd probably give me a number somewhere around five to ten thousand. Right. Also, depending how much I was willing to do myself, obviously, if I jacked it up and all he had to do was swing through here with his mini excavator or if I dug it out, you, you know, there's really no twisting or turning it. I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to end up doing this job. But uh, once again, we're looking, got to be looking at at least... Uh, going to be a hard week's worth of work all right folks ain't nothing get done by looking at it you actually have to uh break into it to get to make things happen right you uh you can fix it by dreaming here's um it's always kind of interesting on stacking these I found quite a few parts. Nothing that I was necessarily looking for, but I did find quite a bit of stuff. Um, I found a full exhaust system. I believe that's a 200X. It must have come with the uh, 200X that's down there on the lawn. The uh, 200X with the 200S motor probably came with that. I just forgot about it. Well, yeah, what you're what you're going to be seeing is uh, and you know even I'm first thing I got to do is get this garage door out of here and and this track. Um, next thing. Let's punch a hole up there, up in the corner, get a lentil across, get this thing jacked up, right? Actually try to unload it. Then, uh, and th this is the part that, that's always hard. It's, it's how much do you take down, how much do you dig, how much do you take down, right? Um, today is Saturday, so I have... Tomorrow I'll probably get the door out of here. I'll get it jacked up. I'll start taking it apart. Obviously I gotta clean up this mess. Um, shoot. It's gonna take you guys for a Cushman ride and everything. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I got too much work to do. Yeah, the Cushman um, was sitting here and she started up uh, fairly well on the second try she started up I didn't have to hit it with starting fluid or anything that made me happy she ran she ran about the same as she did uh, last time I had it out um, which is still not perfect but it is it's it's running and I would I would put it on the uh, I would say it's running fair I wouldn't say it's running good or excellent. Um, I'd say it's, it's. I mean, it starts, um, you floor it, and you can hear it run up on the governor and then slow down a little, run up on the governor, slow down. So I, I'm, that's all working perfectly. But what's what it's not doing is um, I can't, like, set the idle at... Um, I don't know, somewhere around 1,000 RPM, 800 RPM, and have it sit there and idle, and then step on the gas slowly, and, you, you know, have it slowly rev up. It, it, it kind of misses and sputters a little bit, indicates it's something with the accelerator pump, and I've, I've been through it and through it and through it and dipped it and been through it, so I, I really... Um, I don't know what else to 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 do with it. I mean, if you step on it, it'll you, you know it, it it sputters its way up to full speed, and then if you floor it, it goes up. You know, it's got a governor that restricts it to 3,600 RPM. It just goes up to the governor um, speed, and then it controls itself there. And it controls itself there. It doesn't miss or anything once once you're wide open. 
Um, so it, it's it's running. I I would give it an eighty. Right? It's not a hundred. It's not ninety. It's not eighty-five. It's it's like eighty. You, you know. Um, anyway, so I've been babbling about my mess here for fifteen minutes. The only thing I can do is fix it. Right? What choice do I have, guys? All right. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing and um, for all your support. Um, if anybody has a suggestion here, I'll, I'll take it. But to me, it looks like homie's got to jack it up, take it down, clean it up, get the dirt away from it, and uh, put it back together again. Probably um, when I do put it back together again, I should uh, obviously tar the outside and um, get gravel into it so that it, it drains properly down, you, you know, down the side here. Goes into my French drain. That'll uh, that'll make things a lot better, right? There won't be stuff pushing against it. Okay, folks. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing, and for all you guys going, poor Harvey, thanks for the sympathy. The only way to fix it is to fix it, huh? Remember, feet down, head up, and hopefully your wall isn't cracked. Bye now.